Okay, welcome to another segment of Shade Sales Canada YouTube TV. We're doing a residential installation today. You'll see in some of the close-up shots where we put the screw eyes in the building. You'll see that in the video. And uh, it's real simple, guys. We make this as easy as we can for you. Something you can do yourself. We're going to do this instructional video just so it helps you along with what you're doing at home. So we've got one point set at our tree connection. We're going to set two points on the house to, these, to the screw eyes that we put in the building previously. These cable clamps, we want everything moving freely here right now. None of this is tight because you'll see in other videos, we want to be able to get the sail up first and then go to tensioning the, the cables in the edge after. So leave that for now, leave everything open. I'm going to go to the third corner and set this up. This is one fairly large triangle. Leave the cable clamps open till we get all the corners up and then we'll go ahead and tighten the table clip, cable clamps. I'll, I'll go to that in a minute. Okay, here we are in this residential install. We talked about, we got our screw eyes in the wall. You'll see those, you'll see those on the close-up shots. Right now is this key thing we always talk about, we talk about it in videos, is the rope pulley. Okay, it's so essential to have this, you'll never get the sail in otherwise. So we're gonna create the pulley through the eye. And you don't, if you don't know what we're doing here, just look at the other videos on um, how to connect your sail, but we'll do it right here. We're gonna pull this sail in. Now, a lot of people think the sail's too small, automatically think, oh my gosh, how am I gonna pull this in? The pulley's essential. So as you can see, I'm giving it a fairly snug pull, putting a lot of force on the eyes on the wall, but now it's coming in right, and I'm almost at the connection where I'll connect this turnbuckle. And so now, see, with the use of a pulley, I could easily connect this. Again, cable clamps are all loose all the way around so that we can go around and tighten these after. We have cables in the edge of our sails because it allows the shape to be much more rigid and the sail to hold its shape and not stretch. So that's why we go to the trouble of getting these cables. We've made it easier for you to do so watch the detailed videos on how to tighten these, but we'll get to that in the next step. So now we're setting the cable length to be the same size as the, as the fabric. Because if you go too sh short with the cable, you try to pull it too tight, it's gonna bunch the, cable, bunch the fabric. So all we're doing here, you don't have to reef on this, all we're doing is setting the cable so it's the same length of the fabric. So when we go to tension the turnbuckles, we're pulling on the cables, which gives it that beautiful rigid shape. Okay, so you just wanna set your thimble like that and slide your cable clamps in. I'm only holding this with my hand. It's not like I'm really pulling on this hard. I'm just giving it nice tension so that the edge is nice and straight and Gaz will take a shot of that edge. But I wanna to try to push this clamp right close to that thimble so the thimble doesn't wanna spin and it's just a tidy way to finish the corner. The thimble is not 100% essential, but it just tidies it up and does allow the cable not to bend. So we like to try to make it as tidy as possible. And so I'm just gonna tighten that, that first clamp. The second clamp is just a safety one. We just put that in as safety. So I'll just tighten that one down as well. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and hide this little, little end in the pocket. And that's it. I never touch those cable clamps again for the life of the sail. Down to the last steps on this yellow residential shade sail, we're gonna tighten the turnbuckles, which is our last step um, to finish up the, t the shade sail uh, install. And again, we've got our eye that we put in the wall. We've got around and tighten the cable clamps. The last step is to tighten our turnbuckles, which is the finishing, finishing tensioning on the sail. In this case, we've got two turnbuckles, both at the house. And stay tuned for the rest of the video because I'm excited to show you the link in the sail that we've got, which I'll uh, speak to in a minute. But I'm gonna tighten this turnbuckle up, then I'm gonna do the next one. And there's really no hard rule as to how tight you go, meaning when it starts to get a little tight to, to, tight to turn, that's when you sort of stop. Now this one's getting pretty snug, and I can feel the sail is starting to tension up real nice. I'm gonna lock this one off pretty soon and then go to the next one. So I'm gonna show you how to lock it off while you're here. So I'm gonna walk these, walk these nuts into the shaft, center of the shaft here. See this, I'll wheel these in and I'll wheel this other one in because this turnbuckle is getting pretty tight and I know I have a full turnbuckle on the other side. So I wanna lock this off here so that, so I just do that. You can also get a pair of pliers and put it here and here and lock it. And I lock that and I also lock this D-shackle eye, uh, sorry, D-shackle pin because when the wind comes and moves this stuff even slightly, it might loosen it. You wanna make sure these are locked and your D-shackle is locked. Really essential for never having to come back and maintain these all summer long. So we'll finish up the next turnbuckle next. Okay, again, getting exciting here because we're down to the last turnbuckle. This is something you guys can easily do at home. We've made it such that it's not difficult. It doesn't take professional. Sometimes people hire the people to put the anchors in the building. Putting up the sails should be pretty straightforward, especially if you follow our videos. We're trying to set it up so it's home, easy to do. Any guy can do it. Final step here on this one is the turnbuckle tightening for this, this uh, one last corner. And so this sail's pretty tight already. 
and I can feel that by just how tight hard the turnbuckle is to turn. It's not super hard, but it's getting that it's pretty tight. And I flap the sail to see how much it moves in the wind. Not a lot of movement. I'm oh, sorry, when the wind comes. Not a lot of movement right now. And everything's starting to get pretty snug as I try to turn that turnbuckle around. I think we're pretty much there just by feel. So it's getting pretty hard to turn. Like I did on the other side, I'm gonna wheel these nuts in and I'm gonna lock it off, okay? Again, extra lock to put the pliers on. Right now, this is the end of the season. We're just gonna throw this one up and take it down soon. That's locked off pretty good. Last step, de-shackle lock. Okay, just tighten up that de-shackle pin so that when the wind comes, it doesn't wanna come loose. Follow along, we're gonna look at the link here in a second. Okay, welcome again. I wanted to show you the finished product with this nice, easy home install. We've kind of shown you each step to try to make it as clear as possible how easy it is to do for you at home the way we've set it up for you. So we've got the hardware set up, so make it real simple. One of the things I wanted to highlight in this particular install is what a lot of people ask us is, well, I don't want to have my post right at the corner of my sail. So if guys stands up here, uh, hands up here, you'll see that in fact the connection is off to the tree 20 feet away. This is kind of a real neat design you can do. So you can, as long as you got something strong off, we can make a cable or a link, we call it, or a tether that goes to a distant tree or post. Keeps it out of the way of the garden. In this case, we've got all this room to work. There's a pathway that goes down there. So it allows for that uh, open space and a connection that you might not want to put a post in the middle of your garden. So that's a real neat feature. One of the key things you want to remember here is do not try to measure this fictitious point. So when we go to do a link for you, you're gonna measure from that tree as though you're connecting to it and tell us how long you want that tether. In this case, it was 21 feet. It's quite ways away, but as you can see, the sail is nice and tight. Do not try to measure from a fictitious point. Measure from your connection point, then tell us how long you want the tether will be. It will make the sail to fit perfectly, just like this one. Guys will pan away and show you.